the 19th session is on files the last topic of the complete c session divided the introduction file input output operations are performed on entities called files binary and text files two are two types actually uh, we'll be seeing one after the other opening a file opening a file establishes a link between the program and the operating system without which file about which file we are going to access and how use the file pointer and use the f open to create a file along with mode and place it into the pointer so f open is a file pointer in which i'm placing sample.txt and say r we'll go for an example on this as you can see this is to read a file create a file pointer and a character variable f open this says file open and this is a file which i'm going to open if it is if it exists i'll open it if it is not i'll say file not exists in the read mode and place it in f fp equal to null if the file is not present it will be null if not i'll enter into the block and i'll get character by character and i'll be printing it on the screen so we'll compile the program as the file does not exist i'll be saying file not exists if i create the file i'll be getting all those characters now we'll see if the what happens if the file is created so now after creating the file when i execute this program i'll be getting the contents of that file what all that file holds i'm just reading it on the screen so uh, the address of this particular file is placed into the pointer because it holds something it's not equal to null and so i jump the if block coming into the in this indefinite loop and here file get the character from this pointer and place it in the ch variable it, that is not equal to end of the character if it is break it if not go for printing it on the screen at the end file close it and then if you see this is a file program to read some text which is on the screen so this is how we can read a particular file later on the next thing is file opening modes as i said r stands for reading a w stands to write on the file and a append to close the file say f close along with the file pointer as you can see it's the reading mode and i'm closing that particular file by saying fp as its argument over here fprintf function to for formatted writing of characters strings integers floats we have two functions syntax fprintf pointer variable control strings and variables this is a syntax we'll go for we'll take up a small example which demonstrates fprintf function now now in this program i have an integer array and a integer variable a file pointer i'm i'm scanning for 10 values into the array after that after getting the address of after getting the placing all the address of the file uh, pointer into fp the pointer i'll print all those characters file print f into the address what fp holds later on when i read that we'll see what happens so as of now i'm going to execute this program it asks me to enter certain values 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 and 90 and finally 100 are the values what i have given now going back to the previous program that is reading that particular file and now i am reading the same file you can see all those inputs what i have given are displayed on the screen so this is how you can write something to the screen by using fprintf to a file what fp holds and the previous program shows us to read that particular file on the windows platform similarly f scan f function for formatted reading of character strings integer floats we have to functions this is the syntax so the put c and uh, get c functions are the same to put up the and get up the characters from the screen and from the keyboard uh this we have seen in the strings concept so going for uh, some more examples uh, 
now we will take up uh, file.c this is the one we did just now printing up all the arrays in uh, file with name now in this if you see file is the same pointer now I will try to open sample.txt in R mode if it is there I will be printing file not found if it is not there or else I will come into printing all the characters oh, character by character is what I will get okay so so uh, same thing and uh, doing the file character open and I am placing the W mode in it so the sam.txt is a file and I will be entering the roll number and name therefore asking the user to further go for the execution or not so now uh, its roll number and name let the roll number be 100 and the other one be Kiran now it asks you to me to enter whether you want to continue or not yes to continue and I again say roll number is 101 and uh, name is like uh, some other thing again I want to go uh, yes the so roll number some number and uh, some name now this time it's the end so this is the program so all these files have been saved in sam.txt and the folder where it's saved this is about getting the file concepts of first part and we'll take up the continuation in the second part as of now